Welcome to Math with Wong. Today we're going to look at number four of the May 2024 um, Sound Level Exam Paper 2. So as you can see here, this is a normal distribution question. A random variable x is normally distributed. This question, they give you the mean and the standard deviation. Uh, but it's actually a trick question because if you see the question say find the probability of x is more than now if they say find the probability that x is more than 15 for example then you do your normal cdf you do your you know 15 um go to positive infinity 10 and 2 you can come up with the answer but this one they didn't say 15 they say 1.5 but 1.5 what is 1.5 standard deviation above the mean so there are two ways you can do this um, when you have you're something 1.5 standard deviations away, that means the z-score is equal to 1.5. You can solve for the x value and then do your normal CDF with the mean of 10 and standard deviation of 2. Right? Or better yet, you already have the z-score, you can just do a normal CDF with the lower boundary being 1.5, the upper boundary being positive infinity, and a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one because it's 1.5 standard deviation above. Right? So if you want to kind of like visualize it a little bit better. Right? I often ask my students to draw this so that you get a better understanding of what is going on. So if you want to put in the 10 and the 2, right? This is 2, but one and a half standard deviation away, we're looking at the point 13. So we want to be greater than 13. So another way of doing this is you do normal. CDF, you do 13 to positive infinity, but then you have to use the mean of 10 and the standard deviation of 2. If you visualize it as a Z score distribution and it's 1.5, well, then you just have to do, I'm going to squeeze it in here. Right, that's going to be zero. This is 1.5 standard deviations away. So I want this. And they should give you the same answer. So I punch in the calculator and I'm getting 0 0.036 six fig. So 668. Six, OK, so either way, it should give you the same answer. Uh, part B. The probability of X is more than K standard deviation above the mean is 0 0.1. So you have to we understand that the probability is 0 0.1, right? And it's above the mean. So we're talking about here, 0.1. So if you want to use the mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 2, uh, then you can do an inverse normal with 10 and 2. Um, but then the answer you get is the x value, is not how many standard deviations away. The better way to do this is use the z distribution. Then the mean is 0. And the standard deviation is one. So inverse normal, the area would be 0.9, mean of zero, standard deviation of one. Punch that in the calculator, and you should get um, three six fig round off to 1.28, right? It's 1.28 standard deviations away. Right? So that's kind of like the trick here. If you use that, 
you're going to solve for the x value and then you have to solve for the standard deviation um like solve for the z score by sub into uh, this formula so it's a bit more work if you use the 10 and the 2 it's a lot easier if you use the z score distribution okay so that's the trick to this question is they did not give you the x value they give you how many standard deviations away which is actually a hint for you to use the z score that is number four of paper two thank you for watching